Nice job out there tonight. Your play really impressed us, so much so that we're considering using our pick on you if you're available when our turn comes up. Before we get that far, we'd really like to ask you a couple of questions. Question number one. We realize that here in Milwaukee, we don't have the appeal of a Los Angeles or a New York or a Miami. We tend to look for players who would be proud to be part of this organization. Someone who can really take pride in being a Milwaukee Buck. Someone who's willing to spend their entire career as a Milwaukee Buck. Are you that person? To be honest, I'm a big city kind of guy. I don't think Milwaukee has the vibe I'm looking for. Know what I mean? I mean, I don't have anything against Milwaukee at all. I'm sure you guys have a great organization and a great fan base. It's just not for me. All right? Let's see. One more question, if you don't mind. This is a question we ask all our potential draftees, and I want you to answer it as honestly as possible. Where do you see your career going? What do you hope to achieve out of your career? Ultimately, what do you want your legacy to be? Me? I want to be the greatest of all time. If anyone answers you differently, well, tch, they're either lying to you or they don't have the competitive fire to be great. I don't want to be great. I want to be the greatest. I want rings. I want MVP awards. All of those accolades. I want people to talk about me 50 years from now. And they will. Just watch, man. I've got the fire. I've got the drive. And you know what? I'm ready. Thanks for your time. It was a little disappointing, to be honest, but I appreciate you being up front with us. I know you just got done playing and probably want to catch a shower, so I'll keep this brief. I'm with the Bobcats, and we're picking ninth in the upcoming draft. We love what we saw in you tonight and want to ask you some questions to see how well you would fit in with us. Question number one. As a younger team, I feel like we have a lot of opportunities for you. I'm here to tell you that you have a chance to be our franchise centerpiece if you put in the work. How many other teams can offer you that? That being said, we still have a couple of years ahead of us where we're going to be acquiring young talent and assets. We might struggle a bit in those years. Are you going to be able to remain focused during the rebuilding years? Mm, I've never really lost in my entire life. I've always been good enough to propel every team I've ever been on to success. I realize the NBA will be different in that regard, at least at the start of my career. This will really test my patience, but as a man, I'm up for the challenge. Okay, last question. How did you feel about your game tonight? What stood out to you? I felt pretty good. You know, I could have shot the ball a little better. I could have done some things a little better, but all in all, I think I did okay. Okay, good stuff. We'll be in touch if we have any other questions. Hello, and nice to meet you. I'm the Director of Player Personnel for the Utah Jazz. My scouts have expressed a lot of interest in you. Before I can give my blessing to use our draft pick on you, I'd like to ask you a couple of questions, you know, to make sure you'd fit in with what we do here. Being in the NBA brings a lot of responsibilities, and some people just aren't ready for it, if you know what I mean. What are your plans once you get that first paycheck? Easy answer. My parents have spent their entire life putting me into the position I'm in right now. I want nothing more than to take care of them and make sure that the rest of their lives are as carefree as possible. I don't need glitz and glamour. I just need my loved ones cared for. Next question. How important is it for you to be a lottery pick in the draft? Honestly, I don't really care. I'm more concerned with going to the right team than I am going as high as possible. I want to play for someone who's going to utilize me to the best of my abilities. Someone who's going to use me to put the team into a position to win games. You heard? Okay, that's all I have. I love what I heard here. We would love to have you join us. We'll be in touch. Man, this shit is crazy. Yeah. I can't believe you really about to get drafted, yeah, man. man. It is crazy. It's real crazy. Yo, man, this, all your hard work has finally paid off, man. This, this is crazy. Man, you know, hey, man, you almost ran the red light. Hey, man, sit, sit back and be a passenger. Yeah, man. Watch your rims. Hey, man, shit. Yeah. What's your question? What's up, man? Why you got these big ass rims on this group? Hey, anyway? you know, we got my little income tax. You know, I had to give me some 22s. Oh. That was my grandma oh, my. gave me this car, too. My bad. My bad, man. Shorty right there. Come here, honey. Fuck off, creep. <laughs> she uh, she clowns you. She knows she nah, not at all. Not at all. You a clown, though. What you mean, I'm a clown? Like I said, man. What you mean? You a clown. Whatever, man. You know I get all the chicks. Nah, I get all the chicks. You gotta just be worried about what team gonna be drafting you tonight. <laughs> I ain't messing with you, man. You great.
Good evening and welcome to the 2011 NBA Draft. Tonight marks the realization of a dream for the best young players in the world, a reward for their many years of dedication and hard work. It's also a time of extraordinary hope and excitement for our fans and our teams. For those of you watching on television in more than 200 countries and territories, and of course to all of our wonderful fans right here, thank you for joining us. I know the young men hoping to hear their names called tonight can't wait to compete against the best basketball players in the world. So let's get started. With the first pick in the 2011 NBA Draft, the Cleveland Cavaliers select Kyrie Irving from Duke University. With the second pick in the 2011 NBA Draft, the Minnesota Timberwolves select Derek Williams from the University of Arizona. With the third pick in the 2011 NBA Draft, the Utah Jazz select Ennis Cantor from Turkey. With the fourth pick in the 2011 NBA Draft, the Cleveland Cavaliers select Tristan Thompson from the University of Texas. With the fifth pick in the 2011 NBA Draft, the Toronto Raptors select Nick Brown from Boston College. With the sixth pick in the 2011 NBA Draft, the Washington Wizards select Jan Vesley from Czech Republic. With the seventh pick in the 2011 NBA Draft, the Sacramento Kings select Bismack Biyomba from Congo. With the eighth pick in the 2011 NBA Draft, the Detroit Pistons select Brandon Knight from the University of Kentucky. With the ninth pick in the 2011 NBA Draft, the Charlotte Bobcats select Kemba Walker from the University of Connecticut. With the tenth pick in the 2011 NBA Draft, the Milwaukee Bucks select Jimmer Fredette from Brigham Young University. With the 11th pick in the 2011 NBA Draft, the Golden State Warriors select Clay Thompson from Washington State University. With the 12th pick in the 2011 NBA Draft, the Utah Jazz select the 23-year-old shooting guard from Villanova University. The city was beautiful. But it's been a while since they had a real superstar in this town. After me arriving, I guess it's my city for the taking. The future has arrived. 